Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'm here at BuzzFeed, and I'm here to answer questions and play with puppies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, hi. Do you think there's a tree in there? They're getting out of control. OK, they're going. You want to help me answer questions? Which one do you want? Which one should I go for? I'm going to get my hand in there. OK, yeah, don't jump in the jar. OK, oh, here we go. It says, uh, do you have code names for celebrity friends so that you can talk about them? I don't think so, really, no. I, I know some people do on their phones. I think if anyone ever uh, hacked in my phone, they just see everyone's name. Uh, so Timberlake, watch out, because someone's gonna get your number. Come here. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, my gosh, come here, look at this. Come on now, oh, don't you eat that question. Yeah, you can eat my sweater, go ahead. Ow, ooh, that was a good one. Uh, what show do your kids watch that drives you crazy? Gosh, we go through all sorts of phases of uh, annoying shows. Uh, but I'm kinda, I kind of miss them now, because they're growing up, and so I kind of miss those annoying shows. But Teletubbies is a trip. I really don't quite understand that show. It's so bizarre. I, I don't, it's like an acid trip. It is, uh, yeah, so I, that, I would say Teletubbies. Guys, come here, come on. Go for another question? Okay, good. Y you know, okay, yeah, you're gonna do it. You're, look, he's opening it himself. Who was the guest on your show that made you laugh the hardest? I laughed so many times on my show. Will Ferrell was always fun. Bradley Cooper and I did an interview where we couldn't even finish the interview because he was, uh, we were laughing so hard because uh, we were wearing these dumb wigs and we were talking about something kind of serious. And it was just look, those giggles that you get like if you're in school or church and we just couldn't stop giggling. And we tried to restart and edit it and we couldn't get it together. I think the interview was 25 minutes long of us laughing. It's on YouTube and it's pretty ridiculous. Look at this doggy's face. Are you kidding me? Hi. Hi. Oh no. Which person from the roots would you most like to have host your show for a day? I think James would be fun. I'd like to see James host. Uh, <laughs> he's a pretty funny dude. They're all they're all funny dudes, but uh, James, you host and I'll play the thank you note music. They're all running away. Is it my cologne? I don't want like cologne. Come on, guys. Which one? Which one should I do? What? Which one should I do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at that. Uh oh. That's the one. This is the one. What is your favorite SNL sketch that you were a part of? We had the sketch called um, More Cowbell on, that we did on Saturday Live. And uh, Will Ferrell. It was one of my first sketches I was ever in, and Will Ferrell was just so funny in the sketch. And uh, him and Catan were playing around in the sketch, and Christopher Walken was extra walkin'-y. You know, he was talking like not, like not even, he was doing an impression of himself, really. And uh, Catan and Will were fooling around, and Catan knocked Will's uh, sunglasses off, and uh, I saw the eyes of a lunatic, and uh, I, I, I lost it. I had one line to say, and uh, I screwed it up and started laughing. And everyone's like, you can't laugh. I go, but it was so funny. And they go, you're in the sketch, idiot. You can't laugh at your your own sketch. I go, I know, I'm just starting. I'm out of my league. I was, uh, so that was the, probably the best sketch. If I, if I adopt one of these dogs, my wife's gonna kill me, but I almost don't. Come on, just <laughs> cute. Come on, are you eating my sweater? Okay, good, good, good. Are you eating my sweater? Are you eating my sweater? All right, here we go. All right. All right. If you never made it in the entertainment business, what career do you think you'd be doing today? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, you know, my parents were very uh, supportive of my comedy career, but uh, I remember after college, they made me take a postal exam to become a mailman, because um, just to fall back on in case the comedy career didn't take off. And I, I nailed it. I crushed that, uh, the postal exam. And so uh, I would love being a mailman. I love mailmen. Uh, and women, male people. I, I love that they wear shorts. I love that they uh, kind of they drive with the steering wheel on the other side of the vehicle. They got like their own rules, you know. No real, no, no real set time. They just show up. You, everyone respects the mailman because they bring you good news, you know. So you want to take care of your mailman. So I, I think I'd like that. I mean, there's all these chew toys here, but nothing is better than a finger, a human finger. All right, here we go. You're stranded on a desert island with four of your past guests. Who would you want beside you? Um, who would I want? Oh, so many good guests that have been on the show. Uh, Justin Timberlake, because uh, he's funny and he can sing. Uh, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato is fun. Michelle Obama. I mean, everyone's invited. Whoever wants to be on the deserted island with me, I mean, wow. That's like, I'm the answer to like someone like, who, who would you not want to be on a deserted island with? And I'm on that list. Look at these attack dogs. Look at you, little puppy attack dogs. Oh, wow. This is like, a, this is like an actual Paw Patrol right now. This is a live action Paw Patrol. My kids would be so jealous right now. Chase, Marshall, Sky. 
Who is the last famous person you texted? Uh, P.S. You're the best. Hey, thanks. You're the best. Post Malone. I just told me he did great at the uh, Grammy Awards. I love that guy. Uh, Post it. He calls me uh, dad. <laughs> oh, it's that bad. Guys, focus up. Puppies. Focus. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. I'm just going to get down with them, okay? All right, here we go. Let's read the question like this. All right, okay, here we go. It says, I can't really read. All right, if you are if you had your own planet, what would it be named, and which five items would you bring on the planet? I would name it Animal Planet. And I would, just to have a lawsuit with Animal Planet, and I get to probably meet Judge Judy. I, I like her, I'm a fan of hers. And then, uh, what, uh, what five items would I bring? Uh, I would bring these four puppies and, and, uh, and an Instant Pot. But not to cook the puppies, obviously. To feed them, oh, because you can make anything in an Instant Pot. All right, look, hold on. <laughs> Let me read it, hold on. All right, guys, here we go. You've received lots of thank you notes. What is your favorite thank you note that you've received? Um, I got one from David Letterman recently. Hi, guys. Uh, because I sent out avocado toast for the holidays. And he sent me a thank you note saying, thanks for the guacamole kit. <laughs> it's not what I sent him at all. How did your amazing friendship with Justin Timberlake start? What's the craziest thing you two have ever done together? I met him on Siren Live, he was in NSYNC, and then I hosted the VMAs and uh, the Video Music Awards, and he was going solo for the first time. Yeah, I know, it was a great solo. And uh, we were both nervous. And then uh, we both did well that night. Uh, we've been friends ever since. What is the craziest thing me and Justin have ever done? We broke into a house. We thought it was an open house. We wanted to go look at it, and it turns out there was no one there. And then one of the doors was open, so we just figured, well, let's just go and look at it anyway. And so we just kind of broke into a house. <laughs> and I was like, this person never knew that we crashed their house. What's the favorite part of your job? What's the least favorite part? Favorite part of my job is to, I get to make people laugh. Uh, that's the greatest. With today's world, with the internet and everything, it's just, it's bigger than the United States. It's bigger than, you know, which is amazing, but it's global and you get to see fans and hear reactions from fans all over the world. Um, and that's the greatest part. And not just like laughing, but like ugly face, ugly laughing face, really. The least part of my job, least part, I, I don't really have. I just kind of very, very lucky uh, to have this job. It's a good job. Oh my gosh, these guys smell so good too. Oh, hi puppy. What's your favorite game to do on the show? We play lots of games on the show. Um, one of my favorite games is uh, Wheel of Impressions where we have different uh, guests come on. If they do an impression of somebody, we'll have them do that person and, and sing a famous nursery rhyme or something like that. Ariana Grande has been on, she's done it a couple times and been fantastic. Christina Aguilera did a great one. Uh, you should check them out. They're really, really talented. Anytime you can see a celebrity doing something besides selling their movie or whatever, I, I, I always like that on the show. We're down to our last question. Don't eat it, don't eat it. Let me answer it first. Uh, on the spot, create the weirdest version of a Shawn Mendes song using different voice pitches. Oh, puppy's crazy and butts they will be sniffing and balls they will be fetching. There's no way I'm taking all of these back. I'm leaving with these puppies. Thank you so much to BuzzFeed. Thank you so much to all these great puppies and North Shore Animal League America. Thank you so much. These puppies are available. Adopt a puppy. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.